the collection log. Working towards its completion has become the main focus of many people playing the game over the last few years, including mine as well. As I'm slowly approaching 1000 lock slots on my main series generate task, I've been wondering if there could be another way of playing the game with the collection log guiding your path. Recently, a fellow content creator called Zaist started a new account series, and that's when it all clicked. Extreme Collection Log Locked, essentially completing one log at a time. Now with me being, and I quote, the collection log guy, I had no other choice but to start this new journey alongside Zaist. It will be interesting to see how we both take on this challenge and how different our paths will be along the way. Now join me as I take on the collection log once more, except this time I will do it one log at a time. This is extreme log. Now I want to keep the rules for this account as straightforward as possible, while also making it viable to progress through all stages of the game. It's very simple, I start a page on the collection log, I have to finish it without working on any others. I'm not going to restrict myself further as far as getting items, doing quests or leveling up skills go, as I believe starting and completing one log at a time will be enough of a challenge of its own. There are a few exceptions for logs that will be considered as passive, which are all pets, skilling pets, random events, hespori and miscellaneous. All clue pages will also be passive, but only after I actively complete the beginner clue log and the shared clue uniques log. If an item can be found on multiple logs at once, for example the dragon pickaxe shared across all wildy bosses, it doesn't mean I have to do all of them back to back, as this is basically unavoidable. There are some other logs worth talking about, such as Slayer or Skatizo, but I'll go further into that once it matters, as I don't want to overload you with rules and information right off the bat. The basic rules are laid out and that's the main thing that matters for now. If you're excited for the start of this new series, make sure to click subscribe right now so you won't miss out on any of the progress. I won't keep you waiting any longer, it's time to jump into Tutorial Island to get this show on the road. And we are ready. Extreme log has been born. It's time to complete Tutorial Island and we can start working on that first page on the collection log. I'll tell you what it'll be right after I complete the Tutorial Island, but first let me get through this. And the Iron Man mode has been set to Hardcore Iron Man. Of course, if I do end up dying, I will continue as a normal Iron Man, but it's always fun to see how long we can last as a Hardcore and see how much we can accomplish. Final steps of Tutorial Island. Let's talk to the Magic Instructor and let's get our ass to Lumbridge. And here we are on the mainland, Extreme Log has arrived in Lumbridge. I'm not gonna make him member just yet because it won't be necessary for the first log I'll be completing. So let's take a quick look at the collection log for the first time on the account. And let's take a look at the log I'm going for as the first one to complete, which will be none other than Castle Wars. I am going to get enough tickets to completely greenlock Castle Wars right off the bat. The plan is to sell back items though, so I will need to get 800 tickets to get the golden plate body, which is the most expensive. And by having those 800 tickets, I can pretty much buy and sell back everything else to completely fill the collection lock from Castle Wars. Now, by completing it, it does mean that I can always go back to Castle Wars if I do want to, and I think I might. The plan is to get the gold plate body, but I might go back every once in a while to get some more tickets to save up for the gold legs as well, just to have that fashion scape eventually, which I would love to have. Before I make my way over to Castle Wars, I want to go and grab something in Draenor to set the tone for the account, grab an item that will be iconic for the remainder of this series, and then we will be ready. So let's trade our friend Diango over here and let's grab ourselves the Hornwood Helm. Now if there's any item that you can get early on on an account that screams extreme to me, it has to be the Hornwood Helm. Look at that beauty. We're gonna rock this bad boy while AFK in Castle Wars for 
over a hundred hours. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take to get those 800 tickets, but it's definitely gonna take a while. So we better start moving and start AFKing those games, get those tickets racking up and work towards that first completion. And here we are next to the person that will be giving us all of the items for this first log, Mr. Lanthus. It doesn't show everything in the free-to-play world, I think it's missing the halos and some other things as well, like the decorative armor I believe it is. But that's fine, that is A-OK. -okay. Let's get our other account over here and let's start doing some flag capturing. Okay, minor, <laughs> minor setback in my, in my grand amazing plan. I cannot bring the helm inside the arena, but but that is fine. It'll be there for once we're done. We can wear the helm alongside our beautiful golden plate body and everything will be perfect. So let's get started on this grind. I'm sure everyone is pretty aware of how this method works, but I basically just have one alt account in the enemy team. And I also opened the main door with that account just so I have easier pathing inside of the castle. It's a very minor thing, but it's what I've always done and I kind of like it that way. And then you just capture the flag once and then you can AFK the rest of the game. And with the recently added Runelite plugin that is called Logout Timer, you can also extend your idling to 25 minutes before you get logged out. So you can basically just AFK an entire game of Castle Wars after you capture that one flag. And it's super amazing to do this grind. So that's going to make things a lot easier for this one as well. So if you're not aware of that one just yet and you haven't been using that one yet, make sure to check it out because it really helps a lot with AFK grinds. The flag has been captured, and so the AFKing begins. Many, many hours will be spent on top of this castle, just staring into the distance, not doing anything else. And I'm looking forward to it. This is gonna be amazing. And there's the first three tickets out of many. For some reason, there's this weird arrow glitch going on as well. I've seen this before with other people posting it on Twitter. Not sure what's up with that. Let's just dive straight back in. All right, we're gonna call it there for day one of Castle Wars. 27 tickets so far, which technically means I could already go and buy 13 items, I believe. But I am going to save all my tickets until I have the 800 that I need to buy literally everything. Because I'm planning to do something special with that. So we're just gonna wait with that. I'm not gonna buy anything until the end. But yeah, 27 so far, my lucky number. So I'm happy to call it there for day one. Just did a little bit of a milestone, I... Guess you could say 102 tickets have been obtained, the first 100 out of the 800 that we need. And we're only on day two, so it's going pretty well so far. I think I can probably manage to complete this uh, first log in one week, so that'll be pretty good. And that's a nice point to call it on day two. One, two, three tickets, 123. And I didn't even mention this last time in the previous clip when I got 100. But with 100 tickets, I can already buy everything from Lantis other than the gold item. So I can technically already fill my collection lock with 31 out of 39 items at Castle Wars if I wanted to do so. But like I said, I'm going to wait with that until the very end. And that is day three finished with the same numbers, but they're a bit shuffled around. We went from one, two, three tickets to two, three, one tickets. 231 now out of 800. Another day has come to an end. 341 console wars tickets on the end of day four. Okay, this is weird. I was getting my recorder ready to be like, wow, huge moment for the account. We reached 400 tickets. We're over halfway. And then I realized that I already got 400 tickets from last game for some reason. No idea how that happened. Anyways, another game coming to an end and plenty more games to come today. We're not done just yet. 404 now. Also, I'm not sure how this happened, but this is no longer 3 multiplied. I, I must have fucked up some game at some point. I have no idea, but it's no longer a whatever it's called from three. So th I, I didn't get three tickets in, in some game along the way. I don't know how. <laughs> and now we have made it to the end of day five with 452 tickets. Another long day at the office, 560 tickets on day six. And that will conclude day seven. Has, was it seven? I lost track. I lost count. Okay, I have 668 tickets. We're on to the final stretch in two days. We'll be done with Castle Wars. 
And there we have it, the final night before we are done with Castle War. 761 tickets, that means we're just 13 games away from having the 800 that we need for the golden plate buddy, which means we can afford everything else as well. Tomorrow we green lock Castle Wars, 39 collection lock slots will be filled, but first one more night of sleep and then we're ready. And here we are. We have the 800 Castle Wars tickets and the account is now member as well. I put six months of membership on it because I'm gonna be here for a long while anyways. We're in it for the long run. We have all the tickets we need to buy literally everything that Lantus has to offer. And this is gonna spam the clan chat with 39 new items on the collection log. First, let me turn off my plugin real quick so I don't hear my voice 39 times because that will be quite spammy as well but here we go now that that's done let's trade lantis and let's get literally everything in the shop one by one here we go there's all the red armor and all the white armor pieces already i'm just gonna sell it back so we can buy all the gold items as well but you'll you'll keep seeing the pop-ups come up for the collection look that's gonna take a while to get through all of those you know what, let's leave the gold items until last. Let's get all the other ones as well now. There we go, sell all of those once again. And then it's time for the final, final stretch of this grind. Here we go, gold helmet, 400 tickets right there. The full helmet, 500 tickets. The plate body, of course, the big one, which costs the full 800 tickets. Get the sword, the kite shield. The legs, the skirt, and last but not least, the boots. There we go, we did it. That is all of them. Now if I close this dialogue, this is gonna spam the clan. Here we go. Boom! All 39 <laughs> messages right there. Look at that. That is just amazing. The dopamine is amazing. <laughs> 39 collections logged. And that is Castle Wars, completely green, completed. The first log completed on Extreme Log. Beautiful. This is where the real grind begins though, because this was just, you know, four days of AFKing over the span of eight days in real time. But now we're gonna actually have to grind stuff. The main goal for the early game is making our way to Winter Tot and getting some logs done before we get there just to prepare our skills a little bit so we get better rewards but winter Todd is going to be a massive grind because the average xp needed for the dragon x i believe is over 100 mil fire meek xp so let's get some other logs started let's lay out a plan on our road to winter Todd. also these pop-ups just keep on coming i think we're almost there now we made it to the gold full um this is taking ages but anyways, I can't really wear any of the items. I, I don't have the levels for the gold decorative, for the decorative range and mage. The only thing I can really wear is like the castle war stuff itself or the halos. But because I'm rocking the hornwood helm, I really want to keep that one on as like the main item of the account. So I think I'm just gonna grab a Zamorak banner and a Zamorak cloak to keep with me for now. And we'll be rocking that while we work on the next log. Just to have something to show for the grind we've just done. The first log has been completed and in the next episode I will be formulating my plan on the road to Winter Todd. Make sure to click subscribe right now if you haven't already yet to follow the progress on this new series. And leave a comment if you have any suggestions or questions about anything related to this new account. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you all soon in the next episode. And until then have a good one and take care.